everyone in the last video we have discussed that what is pre order traversal in this video we'll discuss that what is in order traversal let's start so in in order traversal at first we traverse the left subtree then we visit the root node then we traverse the right subtree so at first we'll go for the left then we'll go for the root then we'll go for the right so at first we'll go for the left so at first we have to go for the left so left left then we have to visit the root then we have to visit the right same goes for this so it will be the flow so what will be the output and how we can perform the in order now we'll see that at first we'll go for the left then root then right so in this process we have to call every subtrace so at first we'll go for a so at first what we'll do we'll traverse the left so a so what a has at its left a has b here then we'll go for b now what b has at its left b has d so at first what we'll print we'll print d so we have successfully traverse left for b now what we'll do we'll traverse right or root we'll traverse root so then we'll print b now we have traverse left we have traverse root then what we have to do we have to traverse the right now we'll print e so we have successfully traverse this subtree now what we'll do we will print the root node so for this tree we have traversed the left subtree now we'll print the root so we'll print a now we'll go for the right subtree so in the right subtree what do we have we have c so for this tree as well at first we'll start traversing from the left so what is the left c has it has f we'll print f f or this child nodes don't have any values then what we'll do we'll print c we have printed c now we have successfully traversed left and root then we'll go for the right so we'll just print g so it will be our in order traversal for this tree so i think this portion is clear that how we can perform the in order traversal if you have any doubt just write in the comment section now we'll see that how we can implement this thing using code so again i have written b here it will be c or you can left this as b so it's not a bst so we don't need to put like let's say that it will be b yeah so in in order traversal at first we'll go for the left then we'll go for the data then we'll go for the right so at first we'll pass the root node here so what is root node has it has a then what we'll do we'll go for a's left that is b we'll go for this node now again b will come here then we'll call d now then what we'll do we'll go for the d's left but it has null at d's left then what we'll do we'll print d then what we'll do we'll pass so it has null over here we'll pass null here so it will take null so this function won't be executed so we'll just print d because here we have null right null null so when it will get null here it won't be executed so it will return the control to its previous node now we came to b so let's say that a b d is executed now we'll print b the data then we'll go for the base right node that is e so e doesn't have anything at its left then we'll print e so e also doesn't have anything at its right then we'll take the control to b so we have successfully executed these functions for b then we'll send the control to a then we'll print the data for a so we have to consider the whole thing as well then we'll go for the a's right that is also b or for the confusion you can write c over here let's say c then we'll go for the c's left that is f f's left doesn't have anything so we'll print f f right doesn't have anything so we'll simply give the control to c then we'll print the data for the c because it's the root node 
then what we'll do we'll give the control to g so then we'll check that g's left has anything or not so we don't have anything over here then we'll print g then we'll call g is right so we don't have anything here so this is how we can perform the in order traversal so i think this portion is clear now we'll start with the hands on so you can see that there's a structure there's a root node there's a create node function and this is the in order function you can see that at first we have checked that our h is null or not then we have called the left then we have printed the data then we have called the right so if we do the in order traversal here what will be the output it will be 100 10 200 so it's for the pre-order it's for the in order now we'll simply replace this with in and we have called this creator functions three times we'll construct this tree let me compile the code 10 100 200 so you can see that we have got the output 100 10 200 so this is how we can implement in order traversal for a binary tree if you have any doubt just write in the comment section see you in the next video